Tyson. And I'm Dalila, and we are on the bound in beautiful West Hollywood, California, at the premiere of Itty Bitty Titty Committee. Which has got to be the best name for a film ever. And it's won this year's South by Southwest Film Festival. It's the first feature film made by all women. Starring all women, produced by the nonprofit organization Power Up. Let's hit the red carpet. I'm here with Jamie Babbitt, the director of Itty Bitty Titty Committee, and I have to ask you, how did you come up with that name? Uh, the title was actually ingeniously thought of by Guinevere Turner, who hopefully has been on the red carpet also, but she thought of it, and she's great with titles. And what would you like an audience member to take away when they leave the movie theater after seeing your film? I hope they feel empowered, and I hope they feel like they can make a difference in the world, even if it's a tiny little one. Um, and I hope they'll feel more powerful. And how did you come to be involved in this? How do you know Jamie? I know Jamie because I did a series called Popular, and Jamie directed several episodes of Popular, and Jamie, of course, has gone on to be one of the biggest uh, single-camera television directors in Hollywood. And Jamie and I have stayed really, really close friends. Um, for me, the, the feminist ideology behind the music and behind Jamie and Andrea's uh, concept of the film was definitely something that I thought meshed well with Power Up. Mm -hmm. and. Um, was something that I was interested in personally. I just want to support all these women that, you know, there aren't enough um, movies about women, and it's a shame. And so that's basically kind of it. I mean, it's as, it's as simple as that. Well, I do think the movie has a lot to do with being young and being in love, and, you know, it's very, it's a very sexy little movie. You know, I'm trying to find characters that I think an audience would appreciate seeing because they bring, they offer something either intelligent or something fresh and something less standard. Because I find a lot of material out there to be quite standard. What attracted you to the role? Um, I liked the script and um, I thought it would be a great opportunity to work with Jamie. Jamie Babbitt. Yeah. Hi, I'm here with Suzanne Westenhofer, and I wanted to ask you, what brings you to the premiere tonight? We live around the corner, <laughs> so parking was awesome. And if you can find parking in Los Angeles or New York, you go. So I'm just very excited because we haven't seen it yet. A lot of my friends have seen it at, film, at the festivals and have loved it. So So what was the rumors that you've heard about it so far? That it's awesome, that it's funny. And I understand there's sex. No. Well, they always described it that when they first told me about it, they were like, it's, it'll be like the, you know, the Brad Pitt role in Thelma and Louise or something. And I was like, you know, it's like short and sweet. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'd love to do it. And then when I read it, yeah, I was really into it. And, it, and the project itself, it means a lot to me. I'm just bringing up uh, feminism in a way that um, people would be able to relate to it, like in a comedic way. I don't think it happens that much in, the, in film anyway, so. I play Peter here in Itty Bitty Titty Committee. Um, I work for a group called Women for Change, and basically we're you know, an activist group for women, which is a great cause. It's now, still necessary, unfortunately. How was the experience of working with so many women on the set? I'm like one of the only boys for like miles, <laughs> including the crew. I have the ittiest bitty titties here, guaranteed, because I'm the only boy. <laughs> Out of bounds, on the bound, on the bound. Don't put it down, it's on the bound.